Welcome. This video will introduce you to AutoCAD LT. AutoCAD, as the name suggests, is a 2D and 3D CAD drafting and constructing program. Please note that AutoCAD LT just really focuses on 2D instead of the full 3D sort of package. We will be using this to develop architectural plans and elevations, yet it can be used by designers and engineers in the areas of civil engineering, electrical and mechanical for the development of scaled and precise diagrams and designs. When we start, obviously we can see a house design which we're going to be going through and producing in a later video. So this is a plan view, so looking down upon the building. When you open AutoCAD LT, it will open up with the Start tab or the Start Document area, where we're, whereby we can go through and open or selecting new. And notice there'll be recent files when you start creating um, designs. We want to be selecting, in this case, new and then browse templates. Just make sure we're selecting the correct template. It is best to start off with the ACAD LT ISO. And what this does is enable just a few tools and making sure our scale is in millimetres and not in the imperial system. Selecting open. And now notice we have another drawing board. This area provided in the centre, that is our drawing board. Whereby we're going to go through and be producing drawings and then modifying those drawings before final presentation. Also notice that it has a grid system like graph paper. We can zoom in on these and out and it's infinite. So at the moment, the smaller little boxes or squares are 10 mil apart with them grouped into lots of five. The navigation bar is available on the right hand side here, but for best practice, use an external mouse where we can be zooming in and zooming out. So I'm zooming in on that. Um, uh, origin area at the moment. So using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and clicking in the scroll wheel to pan left and right for, in this case, the width and up and down for the length. Moving on, notice and referring back to our origin, that's this uh, area here. So we have the Y and the X. At this very point at the bottom, that is zero, zero, where there's no length and there's no width. It's always best to start your designs from this position in terms of managing designs over several documents or separate documents. So when you're creating a line, you're selecting zero, zero, and it's gonna begin there, and then you might be receding it um, 100 mil at 60 degrees, and that's where it's, the starting point's gonna be. Along the top, or when we go into our drawing, I'll look back at that house drawing area. If I hover here, we've got the model space where we're doing our drawing. We've also got other additional layouts. So layout one, and then layout two in this case. So one might be set up as, it's the same building, but one might be set up as A3, whereas the other one's set up as A4. This can also be viewed at the bottom here, sorry where it says model, layouts, and layout two, going back into that model space. <clears throat> the top ribbon here is grouped into different tabs. So we have insert, annotate, parametric, so on and so forth. We really wanna focus on the home one. So if this is appearing a little bit different, Make sure you click on the home and you'll probably be more familiar with that area. Then it's categorized really well into different drawing spaces, modify spaces, annotations where we'll be doing dimensioning, layers and blocks, which will really focus on those two as well. Along the top, we have the application bar. So that's the new, open, save, save as, plotting or printing, undo, redo. So those really familiar tools along with clicking on the icon, there's additional um, ones provided there. Down the lower, uh, sorry, in the center, we now have the command line. This is where we enter commands and AutoCAD will also send prompts or suggestions 
as it has this dynamic input. So if we're creating a line, then it will ask us, well, what angle do you want the line? Where do you want the line to start from? What um, length do you want the line? So on and so forth. So it's a real key area when modeling in AutoCAD. Below that, we have the application um, status bar, and we'll be going through and looking at this shortly. So we've got going into model a paper space, turning the grids or grid on and off, snap on, which we'll be looking at shortly, and so on and so forth. There's some also additional little areas here where we can change those different settings. So we've got scale and then also uh, document settings available there. Also, often you'll have a palette appear on the right hand side. So when completing a function or a certain tool, there might be additional um, uh, areas that need to be considered. And so that will appear as a separate palette. So firstly, we want to go through and set up our document. So I'll go back to our regular drawing document just to make sure it's all okay. Setting up and configuring the document just makes the drawing easier and quicker. <clears throat> so to go through and do that, we're going to click on this little icon down here. So the upside down triangle and then go snap settings. And what we want to do is be changing snap and grid so we can turn uh, turn snap on, unselect that. So we can always turn that on and off by pressing F9. The rest of this we can keep exactly the same. So the snap spacing is at 10 by 10, which also relates to our grid spacing. So each grid is at 10 mil by 10 mil in groups of five. The next one we want to move along to is polar tracking. Polar tracking, we want to, allows you for quick angular selections. So AutoCAD will snap to the following lines. What I suggest is making it the increments at 45. So when selecting, it will sort of snap at zero, at 90, at 180, but then additionally at 45 and 135 and so on and so forth. The next one we want to go through, and I might just click OK there. Whoops, I've forgotten one other area. Going back in there, we want to move to object snap. Okay, with object snap, be turning on object snap on, and notice F3 turns that on and off. And ones that I think work really well is the endpoint, midpoint, center, intersect, extension, tangent, and parallel. And so what uh, object snapping does, this allows you to, um, it will sort of suggest or highlight key points upon the shape. So if you have created a line and then you're hovering over and you're trying to find that midpoint, it will be able to uh, find that midpoint and give you that as a suggested uh, starting point for a continuing line. Now we just want to select OK. And this finalizes our introduction to AutoCAD LT the interface. Next video will focus on the different drawing th functions. Thanks for watching.